Are you playing holy and want to be a little more like this? Then you should take a good look at yourself. Are you like every other paladin, a Kyrian? If so, then you are a sheep only trying to fit in with the masses. Let's be honest here, why are you even playing holy to begin with? Yeah, exactly. You played Retribution, but you realized that it sucks and you wanted to play the game without having 10 years of queue time. Yeah, I know, Ret is pretty good right now, but just wait for season 2 when they get nerfed and sucks for the rest of the entire expansion, like always. But the reason you kept playing Paladin was because you saw the incredible damage you could deal, even as holy. Ooh, but you're a healer and your priorities should be healing. Shut up and listen! When are you the most happy? When you, just like every other healer, solely keeps your party alive? Or when you bust through a wall and top the damage meters? I'm dying, Mr. Healer! Please help me! Don't worry, subhuman. Stand inside my Ashen Hollow while I destroy this boss. Where you will really shine, though, is in arenas. Oh, but everyone knows that Kirin is the best with his superior healing with Divine Toll and the Shock Barrier Legendary. Get out of here with that BS! Who do you think you are? Goody two shields? The best defense is a great defense! No! If you kill your enemy fast enough, they won't get a chance. If I wanted to cast an Absorption Shield every 8 <laughs> seconds, I would have rolled a Priest. What you really want to do is get the Vanguard's Momentum Legendary from Denathrius that gives you another charge of Hammer of Wrath. But it's too hard, I can't raid. Yeah, of course you can't, you're nothing but a glorified cup holder anyway. But it's not for healers, it's a Retribution Legendary. Yeah, I know, no one cares, go back to your pet battling. <coughs> so where were we? Oh yeah, and then you want to set up an Ashen Hollow which gives you 100% more damage on Hammer of Wrath. See, that's a lot of damage. So what we want to do here is to bait out Trinket, CC enemy teammate, stun the target, and go ham on that B. So here's a few examples. This works best in 2s, but you can find some success with it in 3s as well. 99% of you out there will never play on a high level enough where your covenant choice will have a significant impact. So I will ask of you to rise up, reject the meta, and run your own race. And with that I want to say... Thank you for coming to my TED talk.